The next topic is storage for EC2 instances. So if we talk about the storage, then we have EBS volumes, we have EBS volume types, and we have instance store. So I'm saying that uh, EC2 is nothing but a virtual machine or a virtual computer, right? So in your laptops or in your computers as well, you have the storage in the form of hard drives, right? It can be HDD or it can be SSD. Anything is possible, correct? Or it can be also the combination of both. So when we are having these virtual machines on our cloud, then we also require some storage for it, right? Just like we have hard drives on our computers or laptops, we want the storage, the permanent storage for virtual machines as well in the cloud. So that is being provided by EBS, that is Elastic Block Store. So EBS is nothing but Elastic Block Store volumes, which will be offering us with the reliable detachable block level storage. Now, what I mean by detachable is, let us consider that I'm having one block storage with me. This is my EBS volume. I have attached it to one EC2 instance. Okay. Now, suppose this EC2 instance is going down. It failed somehow. Then I can detach this EBS volume. Okay. And I can attach it with some other e EC2 instance, which is up and running. So my data also will not be lost and it can be recovered by creating snapshots. So snapshot is nothing but a way of getting the backup of your EC2 instances. Okay. So even if the EBS volume is failing and if you have the snapshots, then you can recover your data from there. But in case of the EC2 is failing, then you simply detach the EBS volume and you can attach it with other EC2 instances. So because these are mounted on the instances, these will provide faster access to data with low latency. So that's why we can also host our databases on EC2 instances, right? So there are different types of EC2 instances. According to the different kind of workloads, we select appropriate types. So we can connect one or multiple EC EBS volumes to a single EC2 instance. And we can transfer the EBS volume between different EC2 as we have already discussed over here. Even if this instance is not failing, you can, if I want to just transfer this EBS volume to other EC2, then I can do it by detaching it and reattaching it with other EC2 instance. 